All right, solve that problem. A bunch of bone. All right, sorry about that. Sometimes you just gotta sneeze. few more silver bars to work with. Rings and bucklers. We need more charcoal. Unfortunately, I don't think I have that much wood. Or maybe I do. Okay. Alright, so here's the thing. We need to dig deeper. Because, because, because of all the wonderful things it does. No, um... We need to dig deeper. Because, um... reasons um we need to dig deeper because I want sand.
So we're gonna follow Cyril the Miner. I'm not opposed to digging all the way to the Magna Sea. Nope, nope. Aha! That is a tall cavern. guys keep working on that <laughs> let's uh get some defenses set up <clears throat> but you know we're not barbarians we're gonna put some flooring in first sort of bedrooms for everybody yet. So how many people are going out to get cave spider silk? Just two at the moment. This is fine. All right, build a bridge. Brass bridge. Yeah. Stairs. Drawn from society and claimed a craft store shop. They're already working secretly. Apparently, 
grabbed everything. We grabbed bone, pigtail cloth, clay stone blocks, cave spider silk cloth, single cut pink tourmalines, two, two more clay stone blocks, and rhesus macaque leather. Build us a fine artifact. Do it. Do it now. Also, apparently, we've trapped some turkeys. I'm sorry, are there kangaroos on the map? There are. Ooh, and a cougar. I landed? That never happens. <clears throat> Ezim, the militia commander, has bestowed the name Obotkon onto a steel warhammer. You get a steel warhammer? Today I learned. Remember to make room for the horses by this trade depot? What are you talking about? <laughs> Fine. Thank you. Why didn't you make this before? Baron de Bus, chief medical dwarf, has created Midrim and Midrim and Shal Istam Thosit. A rhesus macaque bone coffin. Offers it to the Breath of Quest. That is so going into our queen's bedroom because we need value. Also, thanks thanks so much for the first time chatter, chat, Nodokasa. Appreciate you. I'm sorry, where is it? It must be being carried at the moment. Like really, where is it? It's right there, okay. Maybe our queen will finally be happy with her tomb. While we're setting that up, uh, do we have any mechanisms? No. That might have been something to build. Rock mechanisms. Get them, sure. Not only is she happy with the uh, the royal mausoleum, she's also happy with the royal throne room. Brilliant. All right, bedroom and dining room. Now the bedroom's kind of difficult because I made this mistake of building this like platform for her to sleep on, and there's not really any room to go elsewhere with it. I could extend it out this way, I guess.
into early winter we go. Where, oh where, is my dragon Kovest? Where, oh where could you be? I want you to come burn this fortress down. I mean, uh, I want you to come visit so we can put you in a cage. Hmm. That's probably not a good selling point either. There's a kiwi hen and a porcupine on the map now. So I return to the idea that I build ugly things. <laughs> Also, we got that deep and we only found one cavern. That's kind of disappointing. Also, I like to talk on mute. I hope everybody's having a fine Friday out there. Um, slowly feeling better. I hope, I hope, I hope. This is the last of it. Sometimes kind of tired of this cold. So we were making some special statues here. Is that? That's nice. I will never get tired of talking about nice. I want an emote that is just a block of nice. But I need to go up to Maine and get a picture of it. I should have. I didn't think ahead. This bedroom is so light and airy. Oh, good. You like it now. Good. All right. Dining room. We can do a dining room. Sure. All right. Now that I know I don't need the statues in the other room, we can put them here. So close. And of course, that doesn't solve anything because then we need to dig deep again. That's a different issue. Mm -hmm. 
Who's our unhappiest dwarf? Melville? Still stressed, huh? I yelled at somebody in charge? That was satisfying. She feels pleasure near a fine seat. Frustrated dwelling upon being unable to practice martial art for too long. You know what, Melville? Military you go. I'll give that to you. No clue if you'd be any good in the military, but there you go. And I don't actually have a place for that military to train, so... I guess we'll throw you in this room as well. And yeah, you train. There you go. Practice your martial art. That's what you wanted to do. That's what you're gonna get. stuff. We still have a bunch of bone. 10, 20, 32. 10, 20, 30. 40. 70 more bone stuff. Bone crowns, everybody. Y'all get bone crowns. Are you satisfied? No. How many other bars do we have? Yeah, get them. Get them. Um, Electrum. Black, bronze, rose, gold. Uh, rose, gold, throne. Rose, gold, table. I want two of them. Did we um, actually make those mechanisms yet? We did. Now, the question is, why couldn't I build those stairs? The world may never know. Gwen. 
such a tall cavern. This is neat. It'd be kind of neat to build a, a a fort in a tall cavern like this and like build it like a helix. So you're building into the walls of the cavern. But anyways, that's not for today. pups Dug three squares and then left. Thanks. Bean is mandating the construction of a Warhammer. D. Pretty much no one is happy with the equipment they have, but that's okay. Okay. Dig down right there. What's the worst that could happen? We could dig into the magma sea and end up having this whole level be flooded. Or 
We can find the Great Magma Sea. A magma pool. An expansive cavern deep underground. An unusual volcanic wall studded with gems. Raw adamantine. Praise the miners. Found it all. Looks lovely. What is this magma pool? Oh. Oh. Oh my. Uh, well, there's the other, another cavern level. That one's also kind of neat. Caverns are so neat. How you doing? All right, that is very lovely. I'm so glad that we found it. Plug it up. Very much leaving that that cavern wide open, by the way. All right, dining hall. You're still not happy with this thing, really, Queenie Queen? Fine. I think two more silver tables. I don't really have any thrones to put with them. Exactly one claystone throne. Give me two more silver thrones. They're dancing. They're dancing. Yeah, dancing. <laughs> I keep on waiting for the, the queen to be satisfied, like when we have partially built thing here You're like but it's not done yet luckily our queen is never satisfied so not a problem At some point, I should probably finish building bedrooms for the people. The outpost liaison still needs a bedroom. I don't know, we probably just need like 10 more bedrooms. Just seems like so much work. <laughs> you, don't, you don't really need a bedroom, do you? 
Restob my manager, what are you doing? No job, you say, huh? I have a job for you. It's called make the work orders go. Oh, you just did? Thank you. And now he's off to store this kale on night. Okay, good job, free stuff. No animals to shear, fine. Stop shearing animals. No. We need empty food storage item. Oh, we need more rock pots. all that for engraving why not engraved on the wall actually it's the floor engraved on the floor is an image of a bed by Cybrek engraved is a Minkot Asos the Azoth Sazir rendition of the angry breath a well-designed image of Kovas tax brands the torrid silvers of glowing the dragon, a dwarf and a troglodyte. The dwarf is admiring Kovas tax brands. Oh, this is the, um, this is the, the image of our group. I forgot about that. I couldn't remember the name of the name troglodyte. There's a name troglodyte that, um, got into battle with five different kobolds and lost every single time. But survived. Well, they're dancing. Again. They have such happy dwarves. The funny thing is, like, I mean, yeah, the, the bulk of them are in the uh, moderately ha happy or partially happy segment, but I don't know. The happy fort. All because there's not so much death and destruction going on. We're working on changing that, of course. But nice to have a nice calm fort, though. Still not happy, she says. We have black bronze, right? We have eight black bronze, which is enough to make two statues, I think. Sure, let's engrave all this too. Not that. I mean, I could engrave that, but I'm not going to. Ingledy bong. Anyway, so apparently I have a four day weekend. I didn't realize that until like I was really sitting down and thinking about it the other day. Hopefully that will give me some good amount of time to rest up, get this cough done and over with. And maybe, maybe, maybe get some extra streaming in. I actually wrote a story today 
Feels like it's been ages, because it has been. Every time I say that, green mean chuckles. Hmm? She wonders if I'm okay. She cares. Yeah, that's an oops. Can't get that one back, Notakasa. Gotta do it right. Say it right, it's Chowda. One black bronze statue. Don't worry, the once the target resets, you can do it again. Yeah. Target resets like every 90 seconds. Though I don't know if it's every 90 seconds or if it's 90 seconds of someone not dropping. But regardless, once once that target is no longer on my face, you can drop again, and the target will randomly appear. Where is my second black bronze statue? Your heart fell into the abyss. That's very poetic, Nix. And sad, if we're being honest. But it'll be okay. Where, oh, where is my black bronze statue? You love how captions pick up your name? It was Nyx this time? Yeah. Hey, thanks for hanging out, Notokasa. Appreciate you. You have a great day. Have a good weekend. And thanks for reminding me about digging out the hole for the horses so that they don't get stuck in the wall. I appreciate you. Your contributions are limitless. Love how this guy just walks over the tables to install the... Oh, that's a nice statue. This is a superior quality black bronze statue of Kovis tax prints, the Torrid Silvers of Glowing. The item is a superiorly, de superiorly designed image of Kovis uh, and elves in black bronze by Doran Ralam. Uh, Kovest is massacring the elves. The artwork relates to the rout of the deer of severity of the rhythmic fern and the destruction of lung fur by the dragon Kovest tax prince towards silvers of glowing in the early autumn of two. During the rampage of the dragon Kovest tax prince the towards, rivers, towards silvers of glowing in lung fur. Everybody know why I love this dragon so much? I just want this dragon to visit. I have no desires other than this dragon to visit. That's not really true. I have plenty of desires. <laughs> All right, someone, someone tell me that they want to be named. Otherwise, we're going to have to look at this dwarf's vomit. Someone should clean that up. Thank you. can't make any more cheese, so throw that out. No, I, I turned it off, Nix. Just tell me that you want one. I'll give you one. Yeah, I, I changed it to just 
you know, ask me for one and I'll give you one. It's real complicated. Would you like a dwarf? Tell me what kind of dwarf do you want? Do you want a, a bearded dwarf or a non-bearded dwarf? And roughly what kind of job do you want? We have miners, we have woodworkers, we have a bowyer, carpenters, woodcutters, a beardy dwarf, okay. Stone worker, farming, 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 farming. We have farmers. We have a farmer's guild and a planter's guild. I've never had so many farmers before. Uh, let's see here. All these farmers are socializing and having fun. We'll give you... Oh, I was going to give you Thultig, but he's a beekeeper. Uh, we'll give you Moba as the farmer. Nick Flair, you're 54 years old. You're creative, impatient. You have a good memory, poor intuition, good focus, and tough. I talk to my friend. I feel fond, he says. Feels satisfied after learning about herbalism. You're a member of the Hall of Gorges, which is the local farmer's guild. You worship Arban Kathirovol. You know, I don't think I have any temples in this fort. Probably should fix that. You have a uh, healthy number of friends and passing acquaintances. And by healthy, I mean you basically know everyone in the fort. Uh, he is not inherently proud of his talents and accomplishments. Uh, he has a sense of duty, does not often feel lustful, generally acts impartially and is rarely moved to mercy. He generally finds himself quite hopeful about the future and is not particularly interested in what others think of him. He tends to be sway to, sorry, he tends not to be swayed by emotional appeals. He does not go out of his way to help others and isn't given to flights of fancy. He is a friendly individual. He inhales sharply when he's angry. When he's thinking hard. He has a habit of licking his lips. He dreams of mastering a skill, personally values hard work, doesn't see cooperation as value and does valuable, and does not care about friendship. Like Stibnite Bronze Morion, uh, Giant Blue Jay Leather. Good luck on that one. Uh, yak Hoof, Rope Reed Fabric, Jute Paper, Windows, Coins, Rabbits for Their Ears, for the words of the mindful knowledge, and the sound of the luxurious embraces. When possible, he prefers to consume Reese's Macaque. <laughs> well, that's good. We have plenty of Reese's Macaque, let me tell you. Uh, turnip plants and bilberry wine absolutely detest snails. You're currently leading a butchery demonstration. You want to develop a skill. Let's, um, let's slaughter some of these alpaca. We have an abundance of alpaca. And llamas. <laughs> Sorry, not you, a real angry snail. I'm sure Nix has no problem with you. It's just the, the unnamed variety. <laughs> Can I have my other statue yet? No. I'm not getting canceled or anything. I suppose I should probably work on the outpost liaison.
All right, so the outpost liaison clearly has an office right outside the throne room. I think that's fitting. Not to be a fancy room, does it? Actually, it does. Okay, fine. We'll make something fancy for you, buddy. Fine. Statues of Kovest? Yes, please. Also, let's make some figurines of Kovest. Too. Just two cabinets, two weapon racks, two weapon, two armor stands. Into the early spring of fourteen. Actually, 